Hi guys, today we will discuss 4 hourly that is intraday chart of Netflix Inc. Now, I just needed to show you the thing that uh, we just finished on the daily chart. Now, this is not the same chart because on the intraday level, we have a smaller chart data. So, we cannot find that data. But this is the same like situation or position that we were discussing in the daily chapter. It opened higher. Now, if you remember, it opened at 124. This is 175. But this is again the gap. It went higher, higher, higher. And then this is the bearish, dark bearish cloud. Then it falls, falls, falls. Just look at it. This is again a gap. There is a gap left. So we will believe that price will somehow like turn up and like try to fill this gap. And it goes lower, 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 lower. Approximately fin like completing the gap. Not completely, but if you look at it, it did traded in the like huge gap that was left here. It never left it out. It completed it, but not fully. So if it has not completed it fully, then this means it's a bullish candle, bullish trade. And you should be bullish because leaving gaps means that it will come down to fill it, number one. But in a bull run, it usually leaves those gaps so that in the future, once it's in a fall, it goes down to fill those gaps. But right now, it is a bullish candle. But will we buy? Right here, it's a red candle, so we won't buy right now. We will wait. Boom, green candle is here. So our buy point is here. Now, as we discussed in the previous lecture, if you remember, the box. And if you just look at it right here, this is again a box. This is the highest point of the box. This is the lowest point in the box. And this could be the medium point in the box. So, you know you are in a box and therefore you can lose money. But if you are a trader, you will jump in. Or you can sit like around it and wait. Now it's again a red candle. A dark cloud cover. So we'll be selling it. Now this is the risk that box creates. You would need to sell and buy and wait. Now this is the red candle. Now if you look at it, till this third candle, we were considering what? Bearish three method formation. What I call the formation that is the most strongest formation of all. But Right here on the fifth candle, it never made a red candle, it made a green candle, nullifying everyone. Now, always remember, now this is an important thing that you have to keep in your head. Whenever this kind of a thing happens, and it happens in like decades or maybe in years, but once this happens, this means a, a huge bullish run is coming. Why? Because someone was developing this three method formation. And bearish three method formation means someone was short selling. Now, whenever this kind of a green candle comes in, then this means the one who was short selling is now in a trap. Oh God, he's gone. And therefore, the rise will be exceptional because the normal hedge fund will be buying and the hedge fund that is stuck in this three method formation will be buying to like square their short sell off because now, it's not a good site to be on. And if you look at it, the rise was exceptional for the next three days. Because the short seller was stuck and he wanted to get out. And the price rose from 169 till 174 and maybe higher. But as it is going straight, so it means that the short seller who short sold on these four candles is now getting out. And he was getting out right here somewhere as well. But is it bearish? No. Right here it is bearish. So 
you will be getting out now the main theme is that's what you need to know the main theme is it's outside the box and outside the box means now our patrons will have more power boom green cows bye now there are two kinds of traders number one who never trades in a box they see a box they don't trade they wait for this kind of a trade to get in outside the box so that they don't have to fear this kind of a losses but if you're trading in a box then don't worry because the box the last trade will be so much good that they will be eating this losses automatically if you remember the previous box we one trade ate all the losses that we had in that box and the same thing happens here this one trade would have eaten the loss here and would have given us something more but right here this is our trade outside the box and it's like what three white soldiers bullish now it's a red candle and it tells us what get out now we are in profit so we will get out now although three white soldiers is extremely bullish but i would suggest you to like book profits don't play with your profits always book profits now it fell off and rose up buy it again now again as i told you in the ak steel uh, chapters that this kind of a thing will happen in the daily chapter or in the intraday chapter that your profits will be like chopped off example you were bullish you sold it here at 177 and now you're buying it again here at 181 86 so that's what $5 lost within the buy sell trade but if you want to earn this profit then trade the weekly candle because they won't let these profits wiped out reason because most major players hedge funds and all are trading on the weekly or monthly candles now it's bullish 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 and now this proves there is something wrong now this opened lower not a good site it went even further lower bad because it closed this red candle below the open of this green candle not a good site and this has closed even further down and it tells us to sell and get out right here and if you look further it went lower and now it's again telling us to buy so if you look at it it's simple trading it's always telling us to buy 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 and sell now why you will consider or you will have a question in mind why does it happen because basically a hedge fund like if i own a hedge fund and i am buying then i will have always a problem to fulfill whatever stock i need to own because in in a good company like netflix everyone is a buying everyone is buying so much that i am squeezed i cannot buy the quantity that i want to buy so i will create this kind of a stuff so that people sell on the daily level and i on the weekly level buy it now you might ask why don't we sit in this candle and not to sell wait you can but you're increasing the risk and if you want to like increase the risk then why increase the risk go for like weekly trading because always follow the plan if you'll break the plan once you'll break it every time and that's not a good thing therefore follow the plan and the plan tells you to sell right here we made a mistake and sold one day late but sell right here now right here we are buying and boom it's saying again engulfing dark cloud cover we will sell now let's wait and see what happens next boom it's again opening higher now this is the thing this is what i call wait for the open if you have bought it and you're in a loss then always try a day late let's see the open next day but on the open 
pick it up. Pick the trade up. If you are in wrong and it's like open lower, get out. More loss, no problem. Get out. Simple. Simple. But if it opens higher, sit on it. Now again, it's a red candle. Get out. And after that red candle, if you look at my, this green candle, that didn't open higher. Sorry, wait a minute. This doesn't like this close was 185.16 and this open was 185.13. So it never opened higher. Once it never opened higher, you will simply like walk off. You will sell. Why sit in it? Yes, you might have like waited to test it this open, but it opened at the same rate. So it's a sell. But the next day it like went higher, so you'll be buying it again. Now, you are seeing we are lo like losing profits, but we are not in a loss. All our trades are in profit. Example, we bought here at 183.93 and we sold it here at 185.51. So we are still in profit. It's not a loss trade. So this proves that our trading plan is not that much wrong. We are making money. And that's not bad. Now, it went lower and it opened and went lower. Now, if you remember, initially in the previous chapter, I told you whenever you trade, the first thing that you do is you put a stop loss on the low of that candle. Number one thing, whatever you trade, you put a stop loss on the low, either this low or this low, but do put a stop loss. Now, on this sharp move down, your stop loss will hit and you will get out. Number one. Now, this kind of a trade means that the price have fallen extremely. But there is a like, catch. That catch is, this is intraday level. And in intraday level, there are many kinds of manipulation techniques. That is the reason I always tell my students to either trade weekly or daily. Daily is the shortest term that I recommend them. Because in intraday level, you're seeing, we are trading in this September month, we have traded what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now 7th. 7 trades. And the point or the problem is, there are too many manipulation things going on. That's the real problem. Now we are buying it here at 182.08 and just look at it further. It goes down. See? You will be again selling it. So on the intraday chart, candlestick will give you headaches. Why? Because there are too many like manipulation techniques involved. And as per my experience, you can easily manipulate the smallest like uh, chart. One hour chart, two hour chart, four hour chart. They are the easiest to manipulate. But to manipulate a weekly chart, Oh God, it involves so much money that I don't even have that. So I would never try to manipulate the weekly chart. Even the strongest hedge funds cannot manipulate the weekly chart because there are too many variables involved. But on the intraday, everyone can. See, it went lower. Now, this is also an important thing. It went lower. I waited for the next to open, it opened higher. Boom! I said, okay, I was right. It's not that bad. But it went lower. Once it went lower, my stop loss should be there and I should be getting out. Now you can see, now we are getting extremely loss trades. Our losses trades are getting increased. That's not a good thing, is it? No, it's not. But the aim is, to follow what your game plan is. And eventually it will move. Example 178.80 we bought and now it's at 184. So it's good. Boom, 191, 194, 197, 198. Now, this is another important thing that I wanted to tell you. The reason they give you lost simple trades is so that you get like depressed and you say, okay, throw off the towel. 
throw off the bath water with the baby in it. And you say, okay, I won't trade. Get out, throw it off. And then the price will rise this much from 174 till 198. Extremely bullish. And that's the reason they make sure that you face this. Example, till here we were in profit. This was our first lossable trade. This was our second lossable trade. And this was our third lossable trade. And then it rose up. Usually it goes on for four trades or three trades. Three or four is the max thing. They make sure that you buy and you are buying it correctly. It's not that you were making a mistake. This buy was a buy. But they made sure that you get stuck and you lose small amount of money. So that you get depressed and you don't buy on the fourth or fifth attempt. Why? Because they know that you as a retail investor is like creating problems. Why? Because if I want to buy a million shares, I cannot just buy it right there. But if you want to buy a thousand shares, you can just place the order 20 cents up. Now, if let's presume there are five retail investors buying, they can make the price jump 30, 40 cents. And once the sixth, seventh, eighth retail investor comes in, he can make the price increase by, let's say, a dollar in total. But basically, only 10,000 or 30,000 shares are like bought. And others, the uh, scalpers were like trading in between. So basically, scalpers and the retail investors made the price jump by a dollar. Now, if I want to buy a million shares, that dollar is a million dollar loss for me. Because that million dollar could be my profit and I lost it. So I will create this kind of a stuff so that in the end trade, no retail investor has like the balls to jump in. They are concerned so much that they won't jump in. And the best part to jump in is here, not here. And if you look at it, the price was up. But now this red candle has eaten this green candle. So it's again a sell. So this is really important. And if I just show you one last thing, I've just zoomed out and just look at it right here. This eye was touched again here. And let's move the lower marks. Come on. delete them right here this green candle is low and this top was the box that we were in this is another low this is another high this box contained four lines let me move remove the lower lines so that you can easily see what I am trying to say wait a minute Come on, how many lines are here? Okay, so you can see that the price was stuck in a box. Just look at it. This was the highest point. And this third line or the fourth line was the lowest point of this green channel. And if you look at the price, it was stuck be between these three lines. And this proves that it was in a box and you're losing in a box as we discussed earlier. But I told you in the box, the last trade is so successful that it eats away all the losses. And that's exactly what happened. But the point is to follow the plan. If you'll miss the plan right here and jump in here, then it won't be that much profitable. And if it is not that much profitable, then it's not worth it. And if it is not worth it, then you will have a net loss pending. And that will create problems for you in the future because your profits will get reduced and you won't feel that much happy. But my point is, even in both those circumstances, if you know where to buy and where to sell 
and with an easy target of candlestick then it is easy to trade thank you